Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully complete our edit and the update portion. And also I discussed both of that way. Now you can also do that edit and update with using that eLocient ORM. You can also do that work with using that query builder. So right now in this video, I want to discuss about this delete functionality. So you do the delete functionality here, I want to do one thing. Like if you go to our project, into the project, if you go to our uh, database and the migration for the categories I have already added one of the I even said there is a soft deluxe right so I have already added this soft deluxe so with this soft deluxe I want to do uh, first of all when this user will delete this uh, even that means this category so this category will be saved into the trash okay that means here i want to create another um, position for the viewing that trash so it will be it uh, save all the data into the trash area and after that trash if you delete it then this category will be permanently deleted so how can do that work in this video i will show you that things with a live example so for doing this first of all we have to understand like here we get all that our data from where we get all that our data uh, from our category controller into the category controller if you go to our all cat so that is actually the method right and here i get all that our categories data and also i designate it so for the reasons you can see it's now display all that our categories data and also there is a designation so now i want to do i want to work in particular that area that means here so here i want to do i want to take another variable okay i show you um here i'm using that uh, illucent quorum that means here i want to add another variable so i take another variable whatever you want so right now i take it as a trash okay trash cat so this type of one of the variable and then i want to do uh, with our um, category model so that means the category right now i'm using that eloquent so that is a category model so with this category model that have also one of the function as a only trash okay so with this only trash we can actually uh, pass this data so i name it as the only so that is one of the building uh, function okay only trust so with this only trust i want to do i want to get all that our latest data so that means it should be just like that same it should be adjust, adjust like as a latest okay latest data and also i want to add that designate so that means the designate and before here i use it the using as a five so for the trash i make it as a three okay that means after three it will be display this designation i hope it's very much clear to you friend so here i trash this data i take one of the variable and with this category model with this category model i added as a only trash and the latest all the product and the page designation i added as a three that means it will be display the three and then i want to do i want to i get all that our trash data and take the things with this variable so now here i want to do and actually pass it in our index page because into the index page i want to visible it so I show you everything will be very much clear to you. Okay, friend. So before I get all that our categories latest data and take the things with this variable, I pass it into the index page. So now I get all that our category trash data. That means which data I want to delete it from temporary from here. So all the trash data, it should be saved with this only trash and I get it with this variable. And here I pass it into this uh, with this compact in our index page. So now we have to do we have to work in our index that means if you go to our index so that is the index page means that is our view admin category into the category and that is our index page right so here hmm, there is our all categories that is our row so better i copy everything okay so that is actually our last day one that means a ph12 so here okay better i take everything okay that is a container row i copy everything from here i copy everything that is actually last dev so i copy it okay i copy it and then i want to do that is our last one after this i paste it on here okay i paste it so that will be your last one so that will be our last one and here i take another one mm, perfect so that is our another one 
now if you click as a save all now if you refresh it so now it's showing as a call undefined <laughs> you can see it's because of all here i all have already passed some of the data so from to the category controller i pass this data right so actually it's not getting this variable for the reason it's actually display this message that means this error message so here this is a alert so i don't need this alert that is our all categories mm, that is our serial number so now i want to do and actually update this portion okay so here it should be just like that same better here i want to put some of the note for you then you don't it should be helpful to you okay better i name it as a trash trash part so now i want to make it as a comment out so that will be as a trash part and then i want to do and to make it not that all category okay so here that is our card body so i want to do and to make it as a trash list trash list so it will be trash list and then our serial number will be same the category will be same user created that everything will be same and now after that that is our for each right so into the for each before i get all that our categories data and visible it on here so right now i want to do to actually update it i want to update it with our this trash data that means which data actually i deleted it so that's the trash data i want to take so i pass it with this trash cat and i now i can actually use it into the index space right because i have already compacted in particular that area so now i want to do and to add it that is our compact so here i name it as a trash card and i just name that as the same name then we don't need to change anything so that is a trash card as category so with this category i want to visible that um, category name visible that username the created date so everything will be just like that same okay everything will be just like that same so that is our and for each friend right so that is our and for each so after that there is actually categories right so before here we have used that category so right now use that our this crash tag that means the crash tag so with this crash tag i want to do and to display our links right because of all here i have also passed that latest designation as a three so for the reasons here i have updated this uh, our id that means the variable with this and then the add category so here we don't need this actually okay here we don't need this better i want to do and to make it as a blank right now I only want to take one so that is a one dev mm. that is actually the form I remove that form first that is a one dev and also there is another dev and there is a card dev I remove it I only just take as a call md4 so that's all that's all we have to do and better I want to make it as a and trash okay that means will be as an trash i also want to make it as a comment out then it will be helpful to you so perfect friend that's all okay that's all we have to do now let's check this out if you know click as a save all and now if you refresh it so that is the app controller latest this is category controller 22 mm, category controller 22 what exactly the things i did wrong uh, that is actually the 22 that is a category latest and then designate designate here yeah, you can see i actually miss it so here it should be as a this one right so i miss it so that is a trash and that latest and then designate perfect so that is actually a simple mistake so now if you click on the save all and now if you refresh it yeah you can see perfect friends so that's the things i want to do you can see that is actually our category portion and that is our trust list so here i want to do when you click as a delete it from here okay then automatically this delete file that means this category will be display in here so that is the things i want to do and after that if you want to delete it permanently then you can delete it from here so that is the condition i want to apply so if you want to do that work here we have to do we have to add some of the link right so here we have to add some of the url so now go to our this part that we see in our index 
So you do the index, so that is our trash part. So that is our trash part. So now we have to work in our this position. And here that is our add message. And that is our edit and the delete. So that is actually the delete, right? So here we have to do, we have to add one of the link. That means one of, we have to add one of the URL first. So I want to do, I want to add one of the URL. So here I want to add better, I want to put that URL, sorry. So URL and URL will be, I want to create one of the URL in our um, uh, web route. So here it should be just like, that means it should be just like that same. Here I name it as a, like a, I name it as a soft elect. Okay, soft elect, soft elect and slash category, it's category, okay. And also here we have to do, we have to add our ID. That means it should be just like that same. So right now we are into the for loop. So into the for loop, that is your category 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 id right because here we have to also pass it with a specific one of the id so for the reasons you can see here i use that category id so now i want to also add that category id on here so i concrete it with this concrete that is our category id perfect so that is our delete that means when you click in particular this delete area it should be redacted to here that means that is our url that is a soft delete and the category with a specific one of the id so now we have to do we have to create our this url now go to our web route and into the web route here okay so here better i copy it i copy that get method i copy it and here i paste it okay so it should be as a um, delete that means the soft delete and the category i copy it and after that that should be one of the id so now i want to add it as a soft delete and the category and then the id right and also into the can category controller here i want to add one of the method as a soft soft delete okay so this type of one of the method i want to create into the category controller I hope friend it's very much clear to you what exactly the things I did on here right friend so now let's do that work I want to create this method in our category controller go to our category controller and after this that is our last one so here I want to do I want to create another one so I name it as a public public and then function and then our method name will be as a soft delete so here there is a soft delete so into the soft delete I want to do, I want to take one of the variable as a delete. Okay, I take one of the variable as a delete and with this category model, I want to use that uh, looking at QRM. Okay, that means you looking at QRM, so that is will be as a category. With this category model, I want to, I have already discussed about that things with you. That is a find, find our specific ID. And also here we have to do, we have to add that ID. You can see that I have also one of the ID. So now I want to do, I want to add this ID in particular that area that will be our requested ID. So here it will be find this, our, this ID, right? So now I want to do, I want to add this ID. It will be find it. If you find this ID, then it will be deleted. Okay, so I name it as a delete. Okay, so here I add this as a delete. Perfect. And after that, I want to do, I want to return redirect to the page. Um, that means I want to return redirect to the, um, same page that means our back page okay so i want to add it so it will be better i'll write down it the return and redirect redirect return redirect then the back page so that will be as a back page and with the back page with some of the message so i name it as a width and then i want to add one of the id as a success okay i name it as a success and success message will be visible whatever you want so i make it as a category deleted okay or delete successfully okay or soft delete successfully okay i name it as a soft soft delete successfully so this type of one of the messages it should be display into the back page with this message redirect so that is a return perfect so now here make that sure you add that column that means a semicolon rather than it should be get some of the error so here i hope you can well understand about it friends so into the index into the index that is our delete so here when you click it it should be directed to our url with our this path with a specific one of the id so that is our url as a soft delete category with a specific one of the id and then it should be directed to our category controller and into the category controller i declare one of the method as a soft delete method that means into the category controller 
and that is our soft delete method and here it should be also added as a, our id with this specific id i have to do i have to delete it i take one of the variable as a delete and then in our category model with this category model i find a specific one of the id and this id <laughs> you can see i make it as a two again so it should be as a find so that means a category and find and this id if we get find this id it should be deleted right so it will be deleted from here and then when it should be deleted it will be returned directly to the back page with some of the success message as a category soft delete successfully so now let's check this out if you now click as a save all i click as a save all and now refresh it so here when it should be deleted it should be saved in our this trash area now let's check this out is working or not that is our cause aryan one click as a delete you can see it's now showing as a category soft deleted successfully so that is the soft deleted it's not permanently delete you can see it's now gone from here yes you can see friend into the trash list also now it's visible as a aryan right it's now visible as aryan user is visible created time is also visible if you delete that man's fashion or the i deleted as a man's fashion click as a re delete and you can see there's a category soft delete successfully and now is now visible on here that means this category is deleted from to this position but it's now saved in our this trash area so right now i actually make it as the same page for the reasons you can see it's now showing as into the same page rather than you can also redirect it to the another page so that's all you have to do so right now if you can actually edit it you can uh, delete it right that means from here you can delete it so better i want to do i want to add another restore button okay that means when it should be click as a restore then it should be return again to the our uh, this main category page perfect right so uh, that is very much interactive that will be a very much interactive for you so how can do that work how can restore this message that means restore this category and after that how can delete this category permanently in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video